Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how you can use the GarageBand app to help practice your scales, arpeggios, or any technical exercise in all 12 keys. So let's dive right in. Going to open up GarageBand and I've got one preloaded here that I've called Scales. And inside I've got major scales, harmonic minor, melodic minor, chromatic, and to show you what this video is all about, I am going to play the major scale and arpeggio. Just have a listen. Hopefully you get the idea. So I've got a two octave major scale followed by a two octave major arpeggio And then we move down a semitone we move down a half step and we do the whole thing again And we keep moving down a half step and down a half step until we've gone through all 12 keys That way you've practiced your major scales and arpeggios in every single key And it's only taken you a couple of minutes and it's much easier than you think to plug this into GarageBand So let's get started. I'm going to go out out of that project and start a new one by pressing plus. I'm going to choose keyboard and to bring up the keyboard on screen I need to press this red button on the right hand side and that brings up my piano. Then I'm going to press this button that looks like a little piano and make sure that the velocity control is switched on. If you need to adjust the size of your piano, you can do that here, but I'm gonna leave it in the middle where you get a full two octaves to work with. Now I've got this velocity slider up because I've turned that control on. And if I've got that in the wider setting, it means it's really touch sensitive. If I tap it lightly, you get a soft sound. If I tap it hard, you get a loud sound and we don't want that at all. So I'm gonna drag the bottom right up to the top and that essentially turns the touch sensitivity off. No matter how hard I hit the keys, I'm just gonna get a loud sound, which is what we want for this exercise. All right, last thing we need to do to set up is hit this little plus sign in the top right hand corner and change it from the default of eight bars into just lots of bars. Let's say around about 80. 88, that will do. All right, we are good to go. So now you've got to decide what technical exercise you want to plug in. But to keep the video simple, let's go a one octave major scale in eighth notes. We'll do it in quavers. All right, so I'm going to plug it in like this. Hit record. Now the first thing you might have noticed is I can't really play in time, particularly when you're trying to play on a screen with your fingertip. But don't worry, we can fix that up through the power of technology. But if you're really struggling to play at that tempo, just go to the settings wheel and go into tempo and dial that down until it's comfortable for you. And then when you're practicing along with this, you can dial it into any tempo that you need. All right, so we've got our scale plugged in. I'm gonna exit this screen and go into the grid view. And I need to pinch in a little bit. So a two finger pinch, we'll draw that in and then I can just scroll on over to the left and we have our scale there. Now to make it a little less staccato, I'm gonna tap on the recording, tap again, and go into edit. Then by tapping on the screen, I can select all and drag these notes out to make the scale a little bit more legato. It makes it a little bit nicer to, uh, to listen to. And you can clearly see here just how out of time I was. So these vertical lines are the beats and the subdivisions of those beats. And the start of these uh, notes should be lining up with those beats. So let's fix that now through the magic of quantization. So again, I'm gonna tap my recording, tap again, and go into settings this time. Quantization down here. Now the smallest note value we used was an eighth note, and that will snap all of the eighth notes to the, sorry, all of the notes to the nearest eighth note in the grid. So now our scale is perfectly in time. Right here, so we've got our scale. We also need to make sure that it, uh, that I've stopped the recording at a logical place. So I've got a four bar recording here. If you've hit it a little bit late and maybe you've got four and 
and uh, two beats and a quarter, then we need to just trim that back to a logical, whether it's four bars or six bars or eight bars. All right, so we've got our C major scale, but maybe you don't wanna start in C major. Maybe you wanna start in F major. So this is where we need to go into settings again and move it up to the key that we wanna start our exercise in. So C major, if I go up a semitone, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F. So five semitones up from C, we get F major. All right, we've got our F major scale, it's all quantized, ready to go. All we need to do now is copy that 11 times. So I'm gonna tap on it, tap twice, go over to copy, make sure the playhead is at the end, and then tap twice in the empty part, paste. And then I'm gonna do that until I get 12 copies. For the sake of the video, let's stop there and go back to the start. Right, our first one is in F major because we move that up five semitones. So I'm gonna go over to the second one and we're gonna move that down a half step to E major. So this time it's plus four semitones. I'm gonna go over to the next one and move that down so it's plus three semitones. So we're in E flat major. And then keep going, plus two, plus one, zero, we're back to C major. And then I would keep going through, minus one semitone, minus two, all the way through to uh, minus seven, and that would give us all 12 keys. All right, let's have a little listen and check we got that right. Success, that's all there is to it. Now, one last thing, you might need a little bit of time to pick up your instrument. So if I tap, I can select all, and I can just hold and drag that out to bar three. And as long as I've got the metronome uh, selected up here, when I go back to the start, that will give us two bars for nothing. Now the great thing about being able to do this is you can customize it any way you want. If you don't want this little reference bar, the two half notes at the start, you don't have to put that in there. If you want to uh, work on intervals, you can work on intervals. You can plug in whatever you want and move that into whatever key you want. And then when you go to practice, it's just all there. And all you need to, need to do is hit play and you're playing along with a metronome and it's like you've got a teacher next to you playing what you need to play on the piano beside you. I hope that helps. If uh, you found this video useful, make sure you hit that like button. And if you've got something to say to me, then just put it down in the comments and I'd love to hear it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.